Source of income this matters a great deal for non-residents. If you're non-resident, you don't get taxed on income that's foreign source. It's also important for citizens and residents for determining the limits of the foreign tax credit. So let's talk about how we determine whether income is U.S. or foreign source. The rules vary by type of income, and they make a lot of sense. Dividends and interest are sourced to where the payor of the dividends is resident. Thus, if Sal is a resident of Italy and pays Phil $1,000 of interest, Phil has $1,000 of foreign source interest income, whether Phil's resident or not. There are two technical exceptions to this. Rents and royalties are really easy, too. The income is sourced to where the property is used at the time the rent or royalty arises. Intangible property is considered used where the rights have relevance. Income from performance of services is treated as arising where the services are performed. If Joe gets paid for 40 days of work and he spent 30 of those days working in Mexico and 10 in the U.S., then three-fourths of his pay is foreign source income. Some interesting situations arise in determining whether income is from services or something else. Damn building. Change the character and source of your income now to have the lowest tax possible. Our proven techniques will save you money. Visit sourcerus.com. Several different rules apply for determining the source of income from selling property. Where the property is inventory purchased by the taxpayer and resold, the income is 100% sourced to the place of sale. Place of sale means where title passed. Thus, a sale X works from a U.S. warehouse is sourced U.S. even though the goods are shipped overseas. If the taxpayer or an affiliate manufactured or produced the property, the income is 50% from where it was produced and 50% from where it was sold. Yes, more. Steve, what do you mean where it was sold? You mean where they signed the contract? That's how most countries do it. No, more. that would allow taxpayers to manipulate uh, the source a bit too much. Uh, place of sale means where title passes. Now, this can vary based on the, what the sales terms say. Uh, we'll talk about this at length in another session. A taxpayer may recognize gain on selling an asset for which he claimed depreciation deductions. Under regular rules, any gains considered recapture of the depreciation to the extent the depreciation deduction was allowed. That gain is sourced based on the source of the income that was reduced by the previous depreciation deduction. For everything else except sale of stock of a subsidiary, the source of gain is place of residence of the seller, the taxpayer. So if Bill lives in the U.S., but he sells a thousand shares of Nestle AG stock on the Swiss Stock Exchange, the source of that gain is U.S. Okay, it's time for the first quiz.